Hi, my name is Alessandro Gandrosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for MaxCookie. This time I'd like to see a really simple and fast tip video and uh, I'd like to talk about uh, particle instancing. Uh, you know that in particle flow we have the possibility to instance particles, so for example if I'm creating a, a teapot that will be uh, the particle instance and then we go in particle flow, that's a particle system we created some weeks ago for the advanced particle citizen tutorial and you see that there we have the shape we are just to uh, select the shape instance and cover it and then we have to select using the H key the teapot now it is creating uh, this kind of mesh and we have just to say use the geometry and same there use geometry and use geometry as you see we have all the geometry inside the viewport and everything is start to be a little bit slower and that's due to the visualization there in the viewport let's go in shaded mode as soon as we have the possibility but there is another way because you know there in particle flow we have not so much uh, preferences and uh, parameters to control the animation and all the other uh, stuffs. So we can go there and we can say again to use the shape standard and then there we can say to use dots dots also there and dots okay so we are back at the beginning and you know that we can use uh, frost you know that frost is really useful to create uh, fluids and liquids but it's really useful also to add particles and uh, instance of particles so we add the particle flow system and obviously you have to remember that it is able to uh, connect in fluids also meshes uh, what I mean is let's remove it for a moment uh, let's say that we have this teapot there Let's make a clone. Okay, now we can select uh, frost, and if we pick this one and this one, sorry, you know that it is using death meshes to create the fluids, so you know we can use different algorithm to create it so that's a really powerful but the important thing I like to see is that we can use it not as a fluid but as a particle instancer so actually it is using nothing so we have you see it is trying to create the fluids and it is really fast until we use simple algorithm as this one you see it is really really fast to be generated but if we try to uh, use it as an instancer we have to go there and we have to say geometry so actually you see it is using a, a standard geometry then we can go in particle flow and we set to known the visualization 
of particles. So we have just the mesh generated by Frost. And then we can go there and uh, we can say to use, you see we have some different uh, meshes, but we can say custom add and let's use teapot. So as you can see it is emitting teapot and it is emitting a, a lot of teapot. So what we can do is to scale the sides, for example, 3 centimeters, and we can say to use mesh every and through particles and we say to use just 5% particles. So you see it is faster and it can give us uh, a really interesting uh, visualization of what we can obtain. Then we have the possibility, for example, to uh, randomize the radius by ED, let's say 85%, so you see we have bigger particles and more little particles. We can sync also the scaling by the age, let's say timing. So you see the scaling can be changed by the timing. And other interesting things we can do is to add other uh, meshes. So let's go for example there and let's create a sphere and a tube. Okay, let's go back in Frost and we add also the sphere and the tube so when we go to create you see that we have all the meshes and we can decide to cycle the shape to random the shape by the ID of the particles and you see we can change the seed to change it I'll use the shapiness channel and we'll see uh, in the future how to use it. Then we have a complete control over the animation because we have the possibility to control the animation of the animated mesh using as distance and we can control also the offset and we have a really interesting way to specify also the orientation. You see that by default we can rotate all the particles but we can also say look at target objects so we can for example add the subjects and all the particles will uh, uh, will look at the mesh we decided we have also a divergence so for example I can add the divergence so they will trying they are trying to check to look at this one but they have also a divergence and we have also the possibility to match the target objects so they will be rotated as this one but we have also the divergence and sorry and we have also other possibility using the channel but for the moment the most useful are this for the simple animation we are doing so we see that we have the divergence and we have also the possibility to uh, restrict the divergence so let's say for example 20 over this axis sorry 0 0.2 or minus 0 0.4 over one axis and one for example over the other axis so we can control how we like to restrict the uh, rotation so as you see it's a really simple way to manage the particle distancing and we have a more a deeply control over it with more option and everything can be done using frost and then we can also use for example xmesh to uh, cache all this data so for the moment that's all and i hope to see you back on max cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye